Well, we consulted among the East African leaders, as you know, on the political and security situation in Burundi. We agreed that we sent a ministerial delegation to Burundi, which was sent, composed ministers from Tanzania's chair, from Rwanda, from Kenya, from Uganda. <clears throat> they went there on the 6th of May. They had consultations with the president, with all the political actors in Burundi. In their return, they recommended this summit. So I convened on consultation the agreement to all of us. I, I convened this summit to discuss the report of the ministers. But we also agreed that we invite South Africa, the Republic of South Africa. We also invite Angola. We also invite the African Union <clears throat> and the International Conference on the Great Lakes Region. You may recall in the Burundi peace process, which ushered in the new political dispensations in Burundi, South Africa was the facilitator. At first it was President Nyerere. After he died, President Nelson Mandela was appointed facilitator and he, he assigned it to President Jacob Zuma at that time, the Deputy President, to, to, to undertake that task on his behalf. So South Africa went through the, the process until its conclusion. So we found it worthwhile to have the facilitator with us. <coughs> President Duma couldn't come, but we have, <coughs> we have Cyril Ramaphosa, Deputy President, ably representing him. In the course of the of the processes in the Great Lakes region, the International Conference of the Great Lakes region was convened for peace building in the region, but also for doing more important issues of development for the region. Right now, Angola is chairing the International Conference of the Great Lakes region. So we sought the participation of the chair Foreign Minister Chikoti is representing His Excellency President Dos Santos, who could not attend because of the short notice. Of course, during the process, we always had the African Union. At that time, the OAU later the African Union with us. That's why Madam Kozosana Dlamini Zuma is there with us at the conference. The United Nations was permanently there. There was an ambassador, Din Han Dinka, who was representing the United Nations from inception to the conclusion of the event. So that's why we had Ambassador Said Jinit, the representative of the UN Secretary General for the Great Lakes region, to be with us here. As I said earlier, we convened this meeting to consult on the political and security situation in Burundi. That's what we did all day, the whole morning, up to, up, to, up to this hour. In the process of consulting, there were new developments in, 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 in Bujumbura. The summit condemns in the strongest terms possible the coup in Burundi. And the summit is of the view that it does not solve the problems of Burundi. We don't accept the coup. We condemn it in the strongest terms possible. And we, we, we call upon return to constitutional order in that country. When looking at the situation in Burundi, we all agree that the conditions at the moment are not conducive for elections to be held as scheduled by the National Electoral Commission. So we call upon the authorities in Burundi to postpone the elections 
to a period not beyond the mandate of the current government. Thirdly, as the region continues to consult with all the stakeholders to make sure that the situation in Burundi normalizes and elections can be held in free, fair, and peaceful manner in respect of the constitution of Burundi, the electoral law, and in the spirit of the Arusha Accord, the summit condemns the violence calls upon all the parties to make sure that the violence stops. The region will not accept, nor will the region stand by if violence does not stop or escalate in Burundi. The region, the summit will convene soon to review the situation in Burundi. We agreed not more than one or two weeks will convene again to review the development in, in Burundi and take the necessary action. I wanted to deliver that as the message that comes out of today's summit. Thank you very much. <coughs> Okay. Okay.